Uh, may I have the honor to invite on the stage Professor Topi Basar, head of the department of Department of Law, Rajiv Gandhi University. My Madam No Ajigo Hadla, Nuga Gusa Sat and Auga Dam Nitum de Takendu, Nago Mensbeka, or Kanuka, Time and Nuga Lageka, Noyadgo, Ek Milpamude. Naru Amrogambe, respected President Marnya Atasar, GWS President, General Secretary Shri Nyadar Loya Ji, Ngunuka Organizing Chairman Shri Minto Atasar, Naru Executive Member of GWS, and the most honorable. Uh, MLA Sir, Sri Kento Jini. Oka ngunuk naru ngoka ayanam naru achabir, anyabir, oka students achiever. Good morning to all of you. Ngo ajina go anyi go galo chin menra. Kyuki ngok, I believe that ngunu yolo relachin, yolo pori lachin, yolo serve lachin. Ngunu language o dobe pe lagi du. Oka ngo ngik ijga students got them or young genera generation got them especially no can we love my dog naki even after staying away from your uh, native place for decades munu kese apna language ko munu continue rak sakta hai munu yomba ngunka language and member ladu the ok language ome lok practice from ome lok jabra from language and yema dona yaddalo chin ngotu adhinam adhina decades amgo delhi bol raka agda kom ngok language amgo ijgo ba alluba clear bango jabba du ok ngok to your colleges automatically it is going to come to you amrigra ngunu ga alga language amun mengo kumara ko ngun practice kumara ko it is not going to come naturally to you amrin ma ngunu at a very young age i think ngunu hugu ngunu ka language am ngunu namloi jabra pe leg do namloi jabge pe leg do because this is our pride and this is our identity Amrin, but with this uh, uh, words, I would like to uh, start. Mo hello, basic chin, amja chin preparation rima kyuki ngob kali gohati se aaye because ngok makta marnya ngom marnya sar ngom ringda no yomri da kom you have to come this time. Amen. Mango chin tarikaru ngok Rajiv Gandhi University hogo Department of Law am Law am ngom start gala Masters of Law am 2021 law. Ok charo ba Department kamlo Ngo 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 chin busy la raka ku ngo no master of law am start la then PhD am start la am din ba oga ngo time pura consume ka ku am din ba ngo hoga GWS academic activities lo chin ngo am ja contribute la pa ma to ang la ruma ka am din ba this is it's an honor for me and I'm very happy to be amongst all of you to be present here and. My heartfelt thanks to Shri Manya Atta sir for uh, having me here today and uh, enabling me to uh, share my little experiences in life with my young students uh, and the parents who have come here. And my heartiest congratulations to all the parents because, uh, actually speaking, achievement uh, students got the real achievement is of the parents. Their hard work, their dedication. I'm doing my parental support ke bina ka omega students ka success a possible madhu. So, nunu, nunu, naru am kaka toka yo yo students a success, success do the in any field, the credit goes to the parents because they are the ones who give them that kind of environment in the family, congenial atmosphere for the studies in the family. I'm doing my, because of that, it's a huge contribution as to why the students succeed in life. Amrin ba, hulomaro to education has changed. The concept of education has changed. Hulomaro, digital era lo munchin education nam jip lagi duku. Amrin ba, teacher laga bachin, as a teacher, as a professor, munu technology ka saath chalna par raha hai. Kyuki computer knowledge, literate, you have to be literate, technically literate today. 
दे मुन लक ओघा में तो कि लिटरेसी रेट क्या है ताका तो ये डेटा लो लिटरेसी रेट हम एजुकेशन एजुकेशन क्वालिफिकेशन हम लिटरेसी रेट हम फोकस हम जीतो हिलो मरो नाउ इट इज द फोकस इज ऑन डिजिटल लिटरेसी हम रिन में कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन इज अ मास्ट टुडे हम रिन में उनु एजुकेशन सेक्टर लोचन वी आर हेवली डिपेंडेंट ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी उनु 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 क्लासरूम लो ब्लैक बोर्ड हैज बीन सब्सटिट्यूटेड विथ नाउ स्मार्ट बोर्ड हम रिन में टीचर एज टीचर एज इन अप टू डेट पे लगी दो टेक्नोलॉजी हम कंप्यूटर हम अप टू डेट पे लगी दो और इट्स इट्स एरा ऑफ ई गवर्नेंस ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी एक्सपीरियंसिंग ऑफिस लोचिन कंप्यूटर नॉलेज इज अ मस्ट हम रिन में स्टूडेंट सर्च इन कंप्यूटर नॉलेज एट अर्ली एज दे हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू कंप्यूटर यूसेज बट द चैलेंज इज the use of a smartphone it's 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 we all know now munuka 21st century law it is a big debate at what age should we introduce a smartphone to the students what is the correct age for introducing a smartphone angunu hilo maro omia naru aji aji na omia mobile bal raduku amrin but they have no idea they have no understanding as to how uh, how they can make use of uh, mobiles and smartphones to enhance to facilitate their education amrin um, uh, this is a very very serious matter all over the world the debate is going on and the research at a very high level is going on the usage of technology usage of a smartphone especially amongst the students sarbe rin ma data rin ma in the world all over more than 60% of children by the age of 13 years all of them are using a smartphone matlab Um, it, it's not only a problem in our state or in india it's a global problem now because now the young generations are getting addicted to smartphone see technology ga beneficial side go chinka do or negative side go chinka do technology se dur reh nahi sakta hai it's, it's a need of the hour we have to be technologically advanced लेकिन एट द क्वेश्चन इज एट वाट एज डू वी एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस टेक्नोलॉजी टू आवर किड्स टू आवर चिल्ड्रेन तो मुनुक देयर हैज बीन सेवरल रिसर्च इन इंडिया बाय यूनिवर्सिटीज आल्सो सो अकॉर्डिंग टू वेरियस रिसर्चेस कोई ऐसा ये राइट एज या रोंग एज तो एज सच नहीं है तो अग्रीड यू नो राइट एज एंड रोंग एज फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग स्मार्टफोन टू चिल्ड्रेन बट एक्सपर्ट्स ओपिनियन ये है कि यू शुड गिव स्मार्टफोन टू योर चिल्ड्रेन ओनली वेन दे आर मेच्योर्ड एंड वेन दे नो हाउ टू यूज इट अमरिन में स्मार्ट फोन एम जी माँ दब सम काइंड ऑफ अ डिस्कशन सम काइंड ऑफ अवेयरनेस सम काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग सम काइंड ऑफ पैक्ट मेकिंग यू नो एग्रीमेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ विथ योर यंग चाइल्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यंग चाइल्ड टेलिंग देम वाट आर द गुड यूजेज दैट यू आर गोइंग टू मेक ऑफ दिस स्मार्ट फोन एंड वाट इज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑफ यू टू यू नो हाउ हाउ डू यू यूज इट हेल्थी यूज सो हेल्थी स्मार्ट फोन यूज अवेयरनेस एंड डिस्कशन विद द टीन एजर्स and with the especially class 7 class 8 students and i think personally speaking we should not give a smartphone to students uh, until they are at least class 9th until they are at least class 9th you know there has to be a, there has to be a movement there has to be a policy uh, i think uh, it can start from gws platform that no smartphone till class 9th and in 9th also when you see there are keypad phone keypad phone if you for security purposes if you want to keep in touch with your children suppose you drop them to their sports uh, and you drop them to their tuition center and you want to get in touch with them then the, you can give them keypad phone स्मार्टफोन को छोड़ दो की पैड कम्स वेरी चीप ऑल्सो की पैड फोन दे दो उसको एंड इफ एट ऑल क्लास नाइन्थ में इफ यू हैव टू गिव दम स्मार्टफोन आई थिंक इट्स द ड्यूटी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स टू मेक दम अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस फोन इज गिवन टू देम फॉर सम बेनिफिशियल पर्पज सो दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ हेल्थी डिस्कशन अवेयरनेस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बट हैविंग से दिस Uh, we must introduce our children to computer usage at early age 
you know by class 5 or so they should know learn computer basic computer usage so by i think my suggestion to all the parents out here is buy desktop for your uh, children and create a classroom kind of atmosphere in your home classroom kind of a digital atmosphere in your home like your room you must have a separate room study room for your kids very very important area which we uh, always overlook there has to be a study room in your house where you have all the it, it should look like a mini library with all digital gadgets computers uh, printers everything and then the child a child must be made to understand that they are not going to use you know wrong usage of it and i am sure if you imbibe this if you make them understand at a young age they are going to understand it's a matter of habit it's not that they are born you know uh, haywire it's like on us as a parent how do we actually make them understand uh, how to inculcate good habit and i think at a, at at your home there uh, there has to be a space a room where a kid can you know use that space for learning use this space space for study purpose i think we we often ignore that part you know and uh, uh, introduction of computer at early age i recommend but at the same time access to internet can also be a danger ki internet lo to every kind of information is there on google every kind of information is there but if a student is sincere if you have inculcated responsibility habit of responsibility then that student is going to use that google and internet for a seeking information okay seeking right information which is required for their studies and i'm telling you in classroom teaching as a teacher as as my experience we cannot give individual attention to each student uh, we cover the topic syllabus our uh, syllabus in the class but some things students may not understand it so they need to go back home and uh, uh, look at the youtube look at the google because there are a lot of uh, study apps nowadays which they can rely upon they can open that study apps go to the uh, youtube and uh, every kind of lecture is nowadays available you know on any topic you type any topic it's going to come to the youtube so students good students who are making use of technology in good sense are using it for learning as a learning tool so this kind of facilitate enhances it it, it enriches their academic learning also but this needs to be inculcated at a very young age okay so there is a has to be a balance between technology and traditional mode of uh, you know education see what is still in our education system we are traditional we believe in lecture method our endeavor munug endeavor e tumunu ek ta topic ko clearly students ko ye samjhana padta hai lecture method ko hum log use karta hai lekin hum log ka lecture method sometimes it may not be adequate and uh, students may have to go back and depend upon the digital lectures content okay digital uh, education agam chingun encourage ru pe lai tu but the, at the same time a parental monitoring is important parents parents any monitor ru pe lai du any go study room lo akala and uh, any go take out some time you know maybe half an hour a day of your busy schedule give that half an hour to your kid okay spend that quality time with your kid where you can discuss many things you know and where you can discuss about like what you are doing nowadays and what kind of things are there what are you uh, doing on google what are the things there what kind of information you are looking at you know that kind of healthy discussion needs to be there so i think uh, nurturing is important and where we are failing today as a parent is that we are failing to nurture our children we are not nurturing them enough and nurturing means giving them time how much ever busy we may be okay all of us are busy today it's a 21st century naru are busy do naru i job naru nag naga koi politics mein busy hai koi social work mein busy hai koi apna household work mein busy hai lekin bhi i think hum log ka jo ek parent and children ka bonding time hai wo bahut buri tarah shrunk ho chuka hai there is a very less bonding between parents and children parents don't know what children are thinking and children have no clue what you know parents 
uh, think of them. So I think we have to bridge that gap and that is very essential. And it's not only about aap din mein paach minute apna bachcha ko bol diya ki aap thik se parai karo, jao paro. That's not enough. That kind of a discussion, that kind of a bonding, spending time, quality time with your children is very, very important. And I think we should also inculcate that habit in us, you know. And for that, I think we should also try to limit our, uh, 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 you know, online time, digital time, you know, so that we are able to give some time to the family, to the children. Uh, this is a second very important aspect. Now, coming to that a little bit, uh, since there are many young students here, I want to tell you a journey of my education journey, you know, briefly, very briefly, because uh, this will have a lot of uh, I, uh, experiences and uh, stories that may, uh, you know, uh, re resonate with you and uh, that may also in future be of some uh, kind of uh, eye-opener for you or it may be of help to you because many of you have joined colleges afresh and uh, uh, my journey began in the early 90s, you know, I am that uh, I'm part of that second generation of students who went to Delhi University for higher studies for graduation. So uh, I uh, joined Interprest College uh, in Delhi University and I took up English honors as my subject. And uh, my main objective of taking English honors was like, you know, uh, I always, since my childhood, I always wanted to be good in this language. And uh, uh, I wanted to be very confident in my uh, language skill. So I always wanted to learn English. And when I was a, you know, school student also, I used to watch regularly uh, news uh, on Doordarshan, you know. So this is how I used to learn my uh, language skill. So I took up English honors from Indraprasth College, Delhi University, and uh, thereafter I decided to do LLB from Faculty of Law, Campus Law Center, Delhi University. I did my LLB, uh, and then thereafter I did my Master of Law, LLM, from the same institute, that is Faculty of Law. And after LLM, I was like, side by side, I was also preparing for UPSC. Okay, now this is the, you know, uh, mother and father of all examination. There can be nothing bigger exam than UPSC, Union Public Service Commission. So my uh, dream was also to crack this examination. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, if you want to try for this examination and be a successful in UPSC, you have to start at a very early age. And uh, your basic foundation, like class 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, science and the mathematics basic foundation is very, very essential. So I, we, like someone from pure humanities background may have a little difficulty if you do not have that inherent uh, scientific and mathematical aptitude. If you do not have that, then you might find it little difficult. You'll have to give extra effort through coaching and all that. But I think if you have an aspiration for you, UPSC and uh, 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 and you have to begin early at early age this is point number one and uh, uh, I also tried and uh, uh, I could not uh, make it but nevertheless uh, I gave uh, net examination national elig eligibility test examination which is essential for uh, being a teacher being a professor in any colleges net is a must so I gave net and I got qualified in the net and luckily uh, uh, there was uh, I got job in in my in my alma mater where I was studying I got a job first so I was the first from the Northeast to be appointed as a professor, assistant professor in faculty of law, uh, campus law center. So this is how my journey uh, in law teaching started. So while I was teaching, I decided that I have to do PhD. So I enrolled myself for PhD uh, and then in the it was in the year 2005 I enrolled and uh, in five, it took me five years to complete my PhD. Five years normally it takes three to five years to complete PhD although you can nowadays you can uh, complete your PhD after two years also you can do that so this is my brief journey so uh, so I am a part of legal education and uh, uh, I believe that legal education has come
कम ऑफ एज गोन आर द डेज वेन पीपल इफ अगर मेडिकल में नहीं मिल रहा है इंजीनियरिंग में नहीं मिल रहा है आई एस नहीं बन रहा है तो चलो लो कर लेते हैं दैट दैट यूज टू बी द एटीट्यूड पहले बट नाव लीगल एजुकेशन इज मोस्ट सोट आफ्टर प्रोफेशन वोकेशनल कोर्स नाउ इट इज सो एंड मोस्ट यू नो लुक्रेटिव प्रोफेशन ऑल्सो एंड वी हैव आवर एम एल ए सर ऑल्सो हु इज लीडिंग वन ऑफ द लीडिंग एमिनेंट लॉयर ऑफ आवर स्टेट ही विल एग्री विथ मी सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ एवेन्यूज लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ एवेन्यूज ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू मेक अप योर माइंड टू टू मेक डिटर्मिनेशन सी वेन यू आर इन क्लास सेवन एट नाइन दीज आर द फाउंडेशन स्टेज फाउंडेशन स्टेज क्लास फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट दीज आर एक्सट्रीमली क्रूशल दे आर फाउंडेशन स्टेज एंड देन वी कैन ऑल्सो से दिस इज अ प्रिपरेटरी फाउंडेशन कम प्रिपरेटरी स्टेज एंड देन वेन यू कम टू क्लास नाइन टेन दे आर इन द मिडल मिडल स्टेज एंड देन इलेवन टवेल्थ इज द सेकेंडरी स्टेज नाउ न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी हैज ऑल्सो इज गोइंग हैज is going to remarkably change the educational landscape in our country new education policy go aduku new education policy lo put unu ka educational system chin restructure ka ku overhauling ka ku amrinma now the emphasis is on theoretical conceptual understanding as well as skill development unu a omie jese immediately college se nikal ke kaise job milega that is the focus now and overall development personal development us pe focus a new education policy i mean my students see by the time you are in 8th and 9th aapko clear hona hai what are your goals you know you have to be clear if you are little having little doubts you can discuss with your parents with you you can discuss with your teacher so that kind of discussion is very important see one may not be very clear with goals and aims like yeah, one may be good in his studies but they don't know what career they are going to take up i'm um, my parents needs parents ka usme guidance chahiye hoga you need to discuss with parents you need to also discuss with your teacher see follow your follow your interest that's the fundamental rule follow your interest and dependent on that you choose the subject of course till class 10th it's all general you have to take up all the subjects it, it you know you have no choice in up to class 10 sab subjects ko aapko padhna hum log ko padhna padta hai no choice but by the time you reach class 9 and 10 aapka a clarity hona hai ki aage ja ke aapko kya karna hai kya क्या सब्जेक्ट लेना है वेदर यू वांट टू गो फॉर ह्यूमैनिटीज वेदर यू वांट टू गो फॉर साइंस और वेदर यू वांट टू गो फॉर कॉमर्स स्ट्रीम ओके तो दैट काइंड ऑफ उसके लिए नाउ हाउ डू यू बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट अ वेरी इजी डिसीजन फॉर अ स्टूडेंट इज तो हाउ डू यू डिसाइड हाउ डू यू डिसाइड विच स्ट्रीम यू वांट टू गो फॉर वेदर इट्स द साइंस वेदर इट्स द कॉमर्स और वेदर इट इज द ह्यूमैनिटीज नाउ यू हैव टू सी वट इज योर इंटरेस्ट वट इज योर एप्टीट्यूड आपका क्या एप्टीट्यूड है आपका अगर मैथमेटिकल एप्टीट्यूड बहुत अच्छा है एंड आपका साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट है साइंटिफिक temper you like science subjects you know science subjects uh, kind of ignites you then in that case you have to go for science stream but if you are more interested in social sciences history interest you political science interest you english interest you literature interest you then of course aap humanities mein jaiye aur aapko commerce zyada interest business line commercial line aur aapko ye banking line banking इंश्योरेंस एंड चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी ये सब में आपका थोड़ा इंटरेस्ट ज़्यादा होने से यू हैव टू गो फॉर कॉमर्स लाइन ओके नाउ दिस यू हैव टू मेक इट आप एट क्लास नाइन स्टेज इट सेल्फ दैट वॉट इज दैट यू गोइंग टू टेक अप आफ्टर योर क्लास टेंथ okay so it's a continuous process it's a continuous process and most importantly we have to enjoy doing that student ko enjoyment aana hai wo that kind of wo ek ek kick milna hai usko and wo tab aayega 
if you have aims and goals and objectives in life, if you have, if you have set goals and objectives. Like, for example, when I was a student, uh, I always used to, I, I see, we did not have good educational infrastructure and facility in our state in 90s, early 90s, in our time. But now the scenario has changed, you know. Now our, uh, we are trying to compete. Educationists like us, we have come back to our state to, to give the best that we can offer. So things are changing, you know. Uh, we, ha we have introduced legal education in this state. And things are going to improve. And at the university level also, there are different new, new disciplines, new subjects that have been introduced. And you have the best of the teachers from all over the India in the Central University. So therefore, our infrastructure, our educational landscape is also changing. Uh, and we are also, we feel the competition as a teacher, as a professor, we also feel the competition because we have to be, uh, you know, at the globally, we have to compete. We have to produce students who can compete at the global level, who can litigate at the national level, you know, not only taking up cases here at the local level, but they have to be able to stand up before the Supreme Court of India and litigate. Okay, so therefore that is the kind of competition we as a teacher also we are facing. And now this requires a collective effort from the society, uh, society like GWS and from the family. Family's role is extremely important. Parental role is extremely important, you know. All the time parent has to be there as a mentor. And uh, more than teacher, I see the role of parent is important because our interaction with the students is limited. We spend less time with the students, but the students spend more time with parents. So that kind of bon homie, that kind of collaboration is required if we really want to improve the educational scenario and the uh, students, uh, you know, uh, ability, students focus because we have to inculcate focus. Uh, and I'll tell you, my our children are extremely, extremely capable, very capable. What I see students here in university is also very capable. Only thing is they have not been guided properly at the early age and there is a lack of habit, good habit, you know. Study depends on habit. So that like every day like your child must have studied at least, you know, two hours, three hours minimum every day. Consistency is the key. You talk to any toppers of UPSC, you know, they'll tell you what is the reason of their success. What is the success mantra? I'll tell you success mantra is consistency. It's the consistency. So as a parent also we have to be consistent in our behavior, you know. See, we have to set like certain kind of uh, boundaries. Like, uh, of course, uh, we are a very, uh, we are very social society. Galo is meant for very sociable people. Uh, so we are a very social society. But we have to ensure that our social activities do not hamper our child at home. So uh, socializing should also be done uh, at a time and a place which does not affect the child because its child also needs some kind of a freedom and space. Ab pura set ho gaya padhne ke liye 2-3 ghanta baith ke padh raha hai. Pura set ho gaya child. Lekin aapka ghar mein aapka ek bahut bada party ho raha hai. That is going to definitely affect the child. Party nahi hona hai, that's not the solution. Socialize, socialization is also important. But to, to ensuring that those activities are not clashing with the timetable that the routine of your child. So whenever you plan any social program, ensure that please look at the school calendars, please look at the college calendars. You know, uh, you have to ensure that it does not clash with your child's uh, academic activities and exam time. We have to be considerate because uh, they are going to look up to us and we have to make things easy for them. There should not be clash of interest, you know. And Usme, I think we have a big role to play. Now, uh, I had uh, uh, prepared like uh, certain, you know, if, uh, like what are the streams that students can choose uh, and uh, what are the career options for those streams. I had prepared a very brief slide and I request, uh, yeah, Chicken, can you please put it up? Yeah, I've given to Chicken. Chicken, go there. 
see many times students ask us ki ma'am which is the best stream there is nothing like best every stream is awesome whether it's science humanities and commerce tino mein aapka करियर ऑप्शंस है तीनों में इक्वली अच्छा करियर ऑप्शंस है और आप साइंस लो कॉमर्स लो आर्ट्स ह्यूमैनिटीज लो देर आर सम कॉमन एग्जाम्स विच यू ऑल आर एलिजिबल टू अपीयर फॉर फॉर एग्जांपल यूपीएससी एक कॉमन एग्जामिनेशन है बिगेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द कंट्री उसमें आप ऑल आर एलिजिबल एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर ए ग्रेजुएट यू हैव टू बी अ ग्रेजुएट आप यू पी एस सी बेच सकते हैं वेदर यू बिलोंग टू साइंस इंजीनियरिंग आर्ट्स डजेंट मैटर ऑल दैट बेसिक क्वालिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड इज ग्रेजुएशन देन सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक एल एल बी लॉ लॉ इज ऑल्सो ओपन टू ऑल डिसिप्लिन ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स ओके नाउ इट इज यू कैन गो फॉर लॉ इफ यू आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन लीगल करियर यू कैन गो फॉर लॉ आफ्टर क्लास ट्वेल्थ ऑल्सो इफ आफ्टर क्लास ट्वेल्थ ऑल्सो यू कैन गो फॉर लॉ इन वेरियस लॉ स्कूल्स आर देयर गुड लॉ स्कूल्स आर देयर वेयर फाइव ईयर बी ए एल एल बी इंटीग्रेटेड कोर्स इज बींग ऑफर्ड एंड स्टूडेंट हैव टू राइट क्लैट एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन so sincere students what they have to look up to is what are the important entrance examinations that they can sit that they can write okay important entrance examinations that they can write uh, 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 and different streams different streams so can i have the slide please कोडनेस का दो दिस आवर न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन which we are in the process of implementing in india and uh, we are currently overhauling our educational curriculum to be in light in tune with this new education policy i'm in my new education policy law uh, the age uh, the age that is uh, divided the age phase is divided in this way see if you look at 3 to 8 years that's the foundational stage 3 to 8 years okay that means we are counting the pre schooling stage also preparatory stage also counting that but ideal age for class 1 is always 6 uh, years it is said 6 years the child should be in class 1 but it varies from different state to state they have framed policies so it varies so ideal is age for class 1 is 5 uh, or 6 so 3 to 8 years is the foundational stage and the 8 to 11 years is the preparatory stage and uh, uh, 11 to 14 years is the middle stage and the 14 to 18 years is the secondary stage this is the uh, division made as per the new education policy so next slide please so in the foundation and preparatory stage that is uh, from class 1 to class 8 say one class 1 to 18 in this stage parental guidance is pivotal it plays a key role okay and we also need to ensure that the student have is every child has sound body and mind we often ignore health parameters and we often ignore mental health you know even a very young child can have a uh, mental issues okay because of too much use of technology they can also get into depression and all that so they have uh, we have to take care of that so both sound body and mental health is essential and we have to in this stage we have to inculcate reading learning and articulation expressing oneself is very important in any language whether it is your own mother tongue whether it's hindi english so you need to articulate yourself you need to express your, yourself so so self 
expression is very, very important. And values and ideals, you know. This is a time where we need to inculcate right values and ideals. Now, in this values, I will also like to add digital value. We, we emphasize on moral values. That's also equally important. But now it's time to introduce digital values also in our children. Digital values. And consistency is key. And we require congenial family atmosphere. Very, very congenial family atmosphere needs to be there. Next slide, please. Next. Next, next. Move to the next. Just click the next. It will come. So this I have already covered. You can skip this part. You can come to next. This I have already covered in my speech. Okay. Uh, this one very important point is choosing good peer group. Friendship circle is very, very important. And on that, I think parents need to know uh, with whom your children are hanging out with. You know, you need to know. It's very important. So uh, on that, you can have a healthy discussion with your child. And you should also know they recognize their friends. Okay? Uh, tell them to invite their friends over and meet them, you know, try to know them. This is very important. And uh, uh, next, please. Next. See, these all things what I'm saying are, I'm sure, hum sab ko pata hai. Munnaru a chen du hii. Munnaru agam realize du. Am rip like du, rip like du. Am rin ma differences mun ma du ang ragun implement ma du. Implementation me hum log lek ho jata hai. And ye jo whatever I'm talking today here is not something which is absolutely unknown to everybody out here. Everybody knows about it. Next, please. Now, these are the three streams after 10th which is available for a student. Science, Humanities, Commerce. Science, Humanities, Commerce, okay? Now, you need to identify, you need to make your decision based on your interest, based on your aptitude and your career goal. The career goal that you have set in your preparatory and foundation stage. Okay, so depending on that, you have to choose the stream. And each stream offers various career options. It's not that science is only in the whole career in science, and in the humanities, it's not that. Okay, uh, science stream, of course, if a student choose science stream, medical is there, engineering is there, there is biotechnology is there, Forensic science, which is very, very new subject and very, very, in, very much in demand. Forensic science is there. Then uh, technological uh, uh, driven subjects, pro these are all produce of technology, information technology, IT, that is blockchain development. This is, this is blockchain technology, blockchain development is the next future, our next future. Then there is like Merchant Navy is there. Okay, one can go, go, go to Merchant Navy, then one can go to NDA, one can sit NDA exam, then you can become a pilot, pilot, you can, you can become an expert in data science. And there's a lot of demand for experts in data science in uh, private organizations and companies. Data science, even government is going to require an uh, expert in data. Because nowadays, everything you want to make a new policy, new law, requires data and statistics. So data science experts, what they do is, they are expert in analyzing the data. So you can go for this uh, subject also, this uh, course also, data science. Then food technology. Food technology is there. Then software designing. Software designing is there. Then artificial intelligence. So next era is going to be an era of artificial intelligence and machine learning, it is said. Artificial intelligence, robotics. Robotics, it's also known as robotics. 
then environmental science very very important then ethical hacking and cyber security because it's we are in a digital era we are in a technological era and there are bad people out there making uh, using technology to steal your properties you know to steal your uh, 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 revaluable informations so they are hackers now to counter that ethical hacking is also required ethical you know the uh, the skill of ethical hacking and cyber security is demand you know it's it's it's, it's these are the uh, these these especially the cyber security data science uh, blockchain development software designing then uh, artificial intelligence these are the uh, because of the demand of information technology information technology and we have to be futuristic things are not going to remain as it is today education and skills in the next 10 years is going to be absolutely technological driven so therefore we have to be very very technological savvy technology am use ru pe lagi do technology am chen ru pe lagi do that is a must okay so science lo in rom de these are the various career options uh, which is in front of you then you have this commerce stream commerce stream can be taken up by those students who are interested in the career of banking 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 see if you look at now all kinds of national and international banks are now coming to our state itself if you see all the banks are opening the branches here all right so banking also has a very very good career option banking then ca uh, uh, chartered accountant ca since see we are not uh, we are a uh, uh, you know um, uh, tax exempted state but nevertheless we are paying uh, these other kinds of taxes are being paid by the traders and the businessman so other kinds of taxes are there and maybe in future the tax scenario may also change so there we will require a ca okay uh, 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 chartered accountants so this is also a lucrative career lucrative option then company secretary company secretary are the uh, you know uh, they are they are the main advisors of the company uh, in 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 key key policies and key decisions company secretary advises the company big big companies so this is also one good very good career option then mba you can go for mba uh, but for doing mba you have to be a graduate you have to be a graduate to do mba then we have entrepreneurship entrepreneurship courses are there entrepreneurship you can do uh, ba in entrepreneurship excellent choice uh, in nowadays especially we believe in the country's policy is you know uh, you know uh, 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 so much on uh, entrepreneurship at the moment then marketing is there you can you can go for this marketing also then you can go for retail management you know retail management big big showrooms are coming up malls are coming up so there they require the retail managers they are the ones who the manage the entire retail there so retail management is also a very lucrative field and then hotel management then one can go for bcom mcom bba uh, then bcom llb it's a very good combination bcom and bcom llb if you do bcom and llb it's a very good combination okay because you can help the companies in the litigations because most of the cases is uh, big big cases belongs to the companies and the corporations and then you can help them in the litigations so these are the career option options for commerce stream next slide please next uh, perhaps that's the last one last one last one humanities last slide yeah 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 you just click on the, on the on the left side bar you click on the last yeah humanities uh, of course uh, there are lot of opportunities when you are a humanities students there are lot of options are there there you can do ba in different streams it can be political science english sociology uh, anthropology you know english 
uh, and then you can do mass comm and journalism grab B, uh, ba in mass comm and journalism and in delhi university also you can do mass comm and journalism and from jamia millia islamia also you can do they are very uh, reputed and then you can go for fashion designing you can go for bachelor of business administration you can go for hotel management fashion designing event management you can do graduation in event management also you can do uh, event management and planner and then you can do mba mba is a post graduation as i said earlier then you can go for graphic design then you can go for bca bachelor of fine arts animation animation is very much in demand those uh, uh, children who are creative nunchin kachen to kaau creative da art and drawing lok al dak marom no no encourage the child to take up animation it has a bright future very very bright future then tourism may you can do then the language course language course like for example uh, uh, japanese language chinese language french language italian language language course to rom language course along with your graduation and if you do a language course it's you can get a job in embassies different embassies of that particular country because they they look for people who are good in english and that particular language so this is also a very good combination so these are you know uh, there are uh, innumerable career options all it depends is like what is your drive uh, what is your motivation uh, what is your area of interest it depends on that and with this i would like to conclude my presentation once again and my hearty congratulations to all the achievers uh, who are present here today and who are going to be felicitated by our very 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 uh, respected and esteemed organization galo welfare society and i would like to thank uh, our president shri manya atasar for giving me this opportunity thank you so much